So cytomegalovirus, it's a, it's a congenital virus that we all get at some point in our lives, typically. It's, um, it's passed through saliva. It's very similar to chicken pox or hand, foot, and mouth. It's in that same herpetic class family. And it doesn't really do anything to you with a child contracting it in utero the way he did. It almost always will cause deafness. The virus thrives in fat tissues and real meaty areas of the body, like the brain. It loves to host on developing brain tissue, and it causes these scars um, in, uh, in different lobes of his brain, so it stops that function. What, you know, let's say in, in the part of his brain that controls gross motor function, if there's a, a roadblock there, and that's what we'll call these calcifications or scars, if there's a roadblock there, that brain can't perform that function. Um, so the body can't perform that function, and it, it's limited his ability with him. All of his damage seems to be focused on the left side of his body, um, so, or left side of his brain. So the right side of his body doesn't cooperate. Um, behaviorally, it can cause autism, which we've been diagnosed with at this point. He is going to have a lot of behavioral challenges that he'll have to navigate, and social cues. This virus just attacks the body and the brain. It's like aliens. He's in the John Hurt way. But instead of growing inside his stomach, it's going like this to the brain. And that's uh, the best way I can describe it in layman's terms. <laughs>